Okay, so is this is it recording? I, I think this thing is recording. Yeah, it's recording. Okay. Hello, it's Mars here. Um, <laughs> so, okay, um, I, I've recorded this video a couple of times. It's crashed, and uh, one time it just kind of rambled for too long. So I'm going to try not to ramble. I'm going to try to get straight to the point. So I've been um, sort of secretly working on a project. Oh, it's, uh, I think it might be a little ambitious. I don't know how ambitious it is. It may be something that's not too ambitious and just kind of maybe just understandable. I don't know. I, I don't really know what to say about it. Um, so it's Myth of Ustro. And I've, I, I know I've uploaded, like in the past, I uploaded a, uh, a couple of pages, a little short, part of a short story that I was doing with Ramona and Shu, and it sort of shows their first meeting and everything. Um, but I wanted to sort of go beyond that and uh, and actually work within the full full range of this original vision that I had for this thing. Um, originally, Myth of Ustro was a tabletop D and D style game with. Trading cards, uh, sort of, sort of like you know D and D meets magic, which is really weird, but makes sense, I guess. Um, and me and my friend John played it, and he beat me several times, even though I created the game, and he laughed in my face about it. And he would probably tell anyone that he beat me, and that's not good. Um, <laughs> but I think that's okay. Um, and. So I created this whole world, and I walked away from the world. You know, I, I created this world and these events and this environment and these different systems and this, all this stuff that goes with it. You know, basically world building 101. Um, and uh, the reason why I'm talking about this is because I had a client a while back that said something that has kind of always stuck with me, but I've sort of ignored it in sort of my... Uh, I wouldn't say blind uh, self-absorption, you know, and my blind need and want to uh, make a living as a comic book artist. Um, but sort of, <laughs> but I, I so I, I kind of didn't continue thinking about what he said. And because what he what he said was, well, it's kind of an, a question, but. Uh, he he looked through you know my comics and everything. He read everything. And he, was, he he liked it, and he listened to what I was talking about. What I want to do, you know, you know where I want to go with some of the stories and things like that. And he was like, okay, well, you know, this is cool and all. And you know, you've been to school and you learned how to animate in school and you learned, you know, you learned stuff in school and you were able to apply it to you know your comics experience from before you went to school and all this stuff. You know, all these years that you've been you've been working and stuff. And he's like. Well, what have you been? What have you? What are you? What have you given back to the people? And I was like, "What do you mean? What is? What is that? What?" And I knew what he meant, but you know, I, it was kind of it, it threw me. You know, it, I was I stumbled a bit, you know, because it was just like, "Oh crap!" You know, being faced with the fact that it's like, "Oh yeah, wow!" You know, it's, just, it's been me, 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 me. You know, and and you know, that's kind of sort of the general kind of mentality but it's it's easy to understand how that is that could be the the mentality but uh artist you know eh, we're we're kind of like that <laughs> anyways but uh so he was like you know you have to think about uh the next generations coming up you know and they're they need someone to sort of show them you know to introduce them to certain elements to certain things because you know you were introduced to those things, and he was right, you know, I was, you know, I, I went to, I, um, I, I did more than just read comics and stuff like that, I actually ended up going to comic book conventions where I'd meet artists at art, in artist alleys, and, and I would, uh, I was, you know, I'm really, I'm a really inquisitive person, so I would, I would walk up to the table, and I'd see them drawing, and I'd go, well, what's that, you know, why are you doing it like that, what is, what is this about, why are you using this, what is that for, what is, you know, and I'd just ask all these questions, and a lot of them would chuckle, and, you know, they were just, ah, this kid, and, uh, and, and they'd explain it to me, and I'd just, I'd walk away mind blown, just like, wow, okay, and you'd take that, and you'd go home, and you'd use that, and use this, use this knowledge, and you were progressing just that much more, and that's, that's what you have to do in order to progress, you know, you, you take that, you share the knowledge, you take this knowledge, and then you, you move forward with it. And, uh, I oh, mean, sorry, okay, uh, started rambling, so I had to edit that. Um, so, 
basically though, I mean, what I want to do is I want, I, I, I have this world and I, I kind of want to share it with everyone. I want everyone to work. I want, I want uh, to sort of open it up to everyone. It's like um, just a big open world environment for everyone to play, play in. It's basically a playground, uh, the myth of Ustro world. And I mean, um, and it's, it's sort of to sort of help uh, teach people uh, different aspects, you know, like world building, you know, like world building. I mean, we're talking about more than just, you know, like map making. We're talking about like everything all the way down to uh, an economy, you know, all the way down to uh, what kind of plants grow in the world, what kind of animals exist in the world and, you know, domesticated or wild or, you know, just everything, you know, uh, um, if that's the kind of thing that you uh, want to do. I mean, and not everybody wants to go that detailed. Uh, that's the way that my brain works personally. And not, it's not necessary to go into that, that depth in order to create a, uh, a well-rounded or uh, interesting or memorable story. Um, uh, and I mean, it, and then I wanna go, you know, from, from even, even beyond that and into uh, the realm of like, you know, character design, character development, you know, like physically designing a character and, you know, a character that you can work with consistently, you know, not, not putting too many uh, detail elements into a character so that, you know, you're able to replicate that same character uh, fairly consistent, consistently from panel to panel and page to page, scene to scene, issue to issue or what, uh, chapter to chapter, you know, that kind of thing. But also, you know, down into the personality, you know, actual character development, you know, the personality, the motivations, the, the you know, the dreams, the ambitions, the conflicts, everything that, that creates a person, you know. Um, and, it, you know, it takes all of that kind of stuff in order to, to build a, a healthy world um, and story. And so I, I kind of wanted to go in into the, these kinds of things and, and I wanted to go into these kinds of things and, and talk about them and explain uh, my approach to a lot of these things in hopes that maybe uh, a little bit of the, a little bit of this knowledge can sort of like uh, um, help anyone that's, that's sort of watching and is interested in this kind of stuff can kind of help them along. And uh, just other things, you know, even like the way that I color, the way that I, you know, I, I lay out my comics and flash and all sorts of stuff. Um, and I've been uh, thinking about all of this for a while. And um, in the last few months, uh, the question has been coming up from a couple of different people, you know, how do you do this? How do you do that? And uh, the, the problem was that the whole time I was working on Myth of Ustro in the background and I wanted it to sort of be this surprise, you know, I was like, hey, look at this project, check this out, this is what I want to do, come on everybody, jump, jump in, join, and I, and I wanted to sort of surprise everyone with this, this project, but uh, the longer you wait on something, the more uh, annoying it becomes, you know, like, if people you know, I realize that, you know, people are asking, you know, how do I do this? And I'm like, oh, well, you know, give it a, just give me a, a couple of weeks and I'll, I'll explain it. And, and then a couple of weeks passes and they're like, they're like what's going on? And I'm like, oh, well, uh, uh, and I, how do you, you know, how do you say, well, I'm, I'm actually secretly working on a project that is the exact thing that you were talking about. And I just wanted to finish it in order to show the whole thing, the whole package. I needed a starting point. And that's what Myth of Ustro was. And it's this, it's, it's actually a really kind of a, am, a slightly ambitious comic. Uh, it has elements beyond uh, anything that I've done up to this point. And so it's taking a while to build um, because the world already exists. I'm just trying to tell these particular characters story. Um, and I mean, up to, up to like the, the sort of in catch of the story is the, the series is that uh, it's, it's very much in, involves the readers like everyone gets to decide what happens to the characters next there are two choices at the end of the story and you decide which path the two characters which which two paths which of the two paths the characters take um and I, so i wanted to sort of like i said it was it was it's based on a very D D style sort of aesthetic you know it's it's that kind of uh Thing, you know, that, it's, it, that was the basis of it uh, a long time ago. And so I wanted to sort of hold on to some of those elements and sort of play around with it. And so I created this whole, you know, uh, sort of RP 
uh, environment um, that I've been sort of slowly building for everyone to work within, but also so that I could do sort of this guild workshop thing that I've been toying around with um, and, and do the tutorials and, and stuff. And um, it's, it's, it's difficult. I, I've, it's difficult getting through this um, and finishing this project because of, you know, well, Goblin, and then I've been working on uh, new issues of Munch Chunky and stuff. And so it's like, you know, taking on, you know, multiple projects at the same time. And then this one is uh, a little bit more ambitious than the others. And so it, it, it just takes a little bit longer. But um, I, I felt like it's been too long now and I need to actually talk about what it is that I'm doing, why I'm, why I'm sometimes being really quiet and why I've been missing for so long for you know some some you know somewhat long stretches and stuff and um this is what i've been doing and i just wanted to sort of let everyone know it, you know all the people that have sort of asked for help and assistant in assistance assistance <laughs> in things it's early sorry um on certain things and maybe i've only sort of slightly helped here and there it that this is why it's because i wanted to do something bigger uh than just kind of little help here and there. I wanted to do a full on project where I am even live streaming, you know, and doing like sort of a live tutorial where people can ask questions and, and stuff. Cause you know, this, I mean, th and this goes all the way back to, I know there's like a, a journal post that I did like, Oh, uh, honestly, it might've been last summer where I was talking. It, maybe it wasn't that long ago. I don't know when it was where I was talking about, you know, like the whole thing where I was noticing that people, you know, there's the, the whole problem with people sort of, uh, that whole intimidation that you get from, from a place like DeviantArt where you see these just fantastic artists, you know, they're just putting out this wonderful, wonderful, amazing stuff. And yeah, I've been through it too. You know, um, you know, there've been times when I, I come on to DeviantArt and I'm like, Whoa, all right, and I just walk away, you know, because you just you see somebody's work and you're just like, oh my god. But the on, the only thing that 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 brings me back is the fact that I know what's behind all that, and that's the thing. the The problem is that not everybody sees it the same way. Like some people will look at that and they'll go, oh, I, I'm supposed to have an output like that. I'm supposed to create like that, and it's no, no, you're not. You're 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 not supposed to create like that because the thing that you don't see is the uh, years that it took that person to get to that point, you know, the, the crafting and the learning of the skill and, uh, and, and, uh, the, the, the years that they spent in school, maybe, uh, learning and, uh, the frustration that it took just to work on that one piece. Maybe they, they, you know, they, they started over and over and over and over and how many times they messed up and how many times they restarted and just you don't see all the frustration and all the all the anxiety and all the depression and all the all the just anger and you know all the you know the mess ups and you know you don't see all of that all that we usually see is the end result and I, I know I've, I've voiced that I thought it was a little deceptive and so I kind of that's that's part of what I was doing I wanted to open up that door and kind of let everybody into the shop and just kind of like come I wanted to come from around behind the counter and come out to the floor and just sit there with everyone and just share you know and so that's kind of what I wanted to do and I, I know I've said it before and it just kind of took a while to sort of build up to that that point where I was like okay I think I'm ready to do it because it's just like I, I was I was really just afraid of the methods that I I, I do because a lot of what I do is self-taught and it's just like it's very clumsy a lot of the stuff that I do but um if people really want to know and it seems that a lot of people do I'm willing to share and uh if, if may, I guess if you're willing to indulge my uh, my stupidity in wanting it to be an extension of this this world that I uh, created a long time ago and I, I think is kind of fun to play around in, then I you know if you don't mind playing around in the world with me, uh, then you know we can all sort of create something together. You know this big bizarre story. Uh, from all these different perspectives. Because that's the thing. I mean, we get to play from all these different perspectives. We all have characters that will exist in this world. And they their stories 
are just as relevant as the stories, the characters, and the stories that I'm doing. So, uh, like I said, it's, it's an ambitious project, I think. Maybe not. I, it, it works, you know, like, it's, it's, I think it's, it's something that's very normal for, like, video games um, I, and I, tabletop game, gaming in general. But for comics, um, it's not normal. But, you know, I don't know, digital comics and uh, we're online and I don't know, why not? Um, I got the time. <laughs> and uh, that, I don't know, the, my, that client of mine, you know, he, he really got into my head. And it, it made sense. It really makes sense. You know, you have the knowledge. You have, you know, this stuff. Why are you not sharing it? Might as well share it. And I mean, yeah, sure. Yes. It makes sense. It was sh shared with me. I'll take what I've learned and what I've, you know, expanded upon and share it with other people. You don't have to be a master of any particular craft to share what you've learned because what you've learned is relevant to the progression of not just yourself but everyone else behind you in skill or craft or development or whatever growth and everyone in front of you because everyone can learn from your experience just like you can learn from everyone else's experiences you know i mean that's just the way it is the whole thing it's, it's a learning and sharing experience so yeah that's uh what i want to do with myth of Eustro. i don't know so what do you think <laughs> uh. test 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 this is a test 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 this is a test 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 this is a test 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 test